A reaction to the Trump administration's decision to ban the government from using of products made by Kaspersky Lab. That's a Russian-based cybersecurity firm that has its U.S. headquarters in Woburn, Massachusetts. And that's where NBC Boston's Alicia Palumbo joins us live tonight. Alicia? Well, the Homeland Security Directive impacting Kaspersky here in Woburn and beyond was issued yesterday and gives federal agencies 90 days to implement plans to remove Kaspersky products from their systems. The federal government's decision to stop using Kaspersky Lab cybersecurity products over concerns of possibly unethical ties to Russian intelligence is having a ripple effect throughout the Moscow-based company, including here at its U.S. headquarters in Woburn. Even though Kaspersky has called the allegations completely unfounded and said the Russian policies and laws are being misinterpreted, already Best Buy has announced it will no longer sell Kaspersky software. If there is even a breadcrumb of evidence that uh, Kaspersky may be uh, meddling with the Russian government, then obviously that is a problem for uh, the feds. But Robert Siciliano, a cybersecurity expert with Hotspot Shield, is skeptical that Kaspersky could get away with doing something like that. If in fact there was some type of backdoor in Kaspersky's technology, don't you think McAfee or Symantec would have found it already? Their biggest competitors? In an exclusive interview with NBC News reporter Richard Engel earlier this summer, billionaire Kaspersky owner Eugene Kaspersky addressed his reported ties to the KGB. You went to a KGB-run school for technical yeah, math that was, that was kids. 16 years. But denied that his company is involved in any Russian spying. Is all of this just a front for Russian intelligence? Zero contacts with offensive agencies in Russian intelligence. In a statement this week in response to the federal order, Kaspersky Lab said that it, quote, has never helped nor will help any government in the world with its cyber espionage or offensive cyber efforts. And it's disconcerting that a private company can be considered guilty until proven innocent due to geopolitical issues. Now, Kaspersky says it hopes to work with Homeland Security to avoid this. At Kaspersky's U.S. headquarters in Woburn, Alicia Palumbo, NBC Boston.